Ocean waves bring energy towards the shoreline, creating an incredibly dynamic environment. Let's have a closer look at wind-generated waves. These waves are caused by wind blowing over the surface of the sea. Through turbulence between the wind and the sea surface, the wind transfers energy to the water. In these light wind conditions today, only small amounts of energy are transferred. The waves are coming in one after another. We could measure the distance between successive waves. That measure is called the wavelength. Compare waves towards deeper water to those closer to shore. They look smooth further offshore. And the waves closer to shore are breaking into white foam. What's the reason for this difference? It's related to both water depth and the height of the wave. As the wave moves into shallower water, the water particles at the bottom begin to feel the bottom. That is, they begin to transfer their energy of motion to the sediment on the seafloor. This bottom water has to slow down, therefore, as it loses energy. As the bottom of the wave slows down, the crest of the wave moves ahead. Eventually, the steepness causes the wave to break into a foamy mixture of air and water. That's in the surf zone, as you can see, closer to shore. Waves transfer energy from the wind to the sediment on the seafloor, and also to the shoreline. So the next time you're at the beach, take a fresh look at the waves and enjoy the surf.